Welcome to the program. I'm Gida Fakhi. Polling stations opened on Saturday for Africa's biggest election as over Millions 70 million Nigerians, Nigerians go to the polls for what they hope to be the 140 first million people with nearly half Despite their spike the chaos, many believe that these elections are still their best chance to change their future. The Four Foundation reached out and wanted to know if we could assemble a team very quickly and the, the network responded and I think we found out on a Wednesday and that same Saturday of that week we were on a plane to Nigeria. Weber Shanwick was brought into Nigeria to see that communications played their part in delivering fair, free, and credible elections throughout the country. The Commission needed to do everything from voter education to uh, building just an information network for voters so that the election not only would be free, fair, and credible, but they were able to tell a new story about democracy in Nigeria. Nigeria is a highly developed society. and When we first met with them, we told them that we're here to work for you, and we never deviated from that. We reported to the INEC offices every single day. So we embedded ourselves there. That helped us to, number one, build trust. Number two, to also see things that maybe we wouldn't if we were remote. We were able to use communications to set the tone for the whole elections. In a way, communications became the glue that held the whole election exercise together. Nigeria has an emerging youth culture that has become more civically engaged, and everybody communicates via text. We sat there, all of us in the room, working out 140 character Twitter messages and uh, short SMS messages just to get out the key information in the shortest and sharpest possible way to all the would-be voters. It was a privilege for Weber Shandwick to be able to help do something that really made a difference in Nigeria. I think it's very gratifying that these were considered the most transparent and positive elections since the return of democracy in Nigeria. I think Nigeria succeeded into relaunching its democracy. Uh, they have a long way to go, but it's going to be an organic Nigerian process and they're well underway. The experience was one that I have not stopped talking about since returning. I mean, you were never unaware of the fact of how important the work was. And so to know that the work that you were doing had a direct impact on people's lives and how they experienced democracy in their homeland was really, really gratifying. So it was an amazing experience.